So, hello everyone, this is Aether Nightmare, and welcome back to stream number 80 of Genshin Impact. Yes, we're streaming, we're live. Hi. Um, there's not an event per se going on. Oh, Battle Pass is gone. <laughs> but I want to start working on some of this endochomia stuff. Because the underground is going to start changing, they said, according to um, the 2.5 update. So I want to start getting to some of it before it actually happens. Just in case there's some stuff that I could potentially miss. And I could be down there a while. It's part of the reason I wanted to stream potentially is so I don't lose footage just in case. Some of it will remain archived even if I have to resync the sound on the interwebs. Even if not in great bitrate, it will still exist. So that is, <laughs> I kind of pressed the go live button before I really made my decision. I meant to hit record. Oops. And so uh, that's what we'll be doing today is getting under there. I don't really know what party is good. Um, Jean is here for new heals. We're still working on Kaya, who's actually a beast right now. Oh my goodness. Mona, um, for a spellcaster. Get a freeze comp going. Freeze and shatter with no well. Um, Cause most of my characters are done at this point. So yay, gonna be interesting. So let's see what the heck is going on at Watatsumi Island. Uh, moon bathe deep. You must first break the five seals on Watatsumi Island if you wish to enter Endokomia. One, two, three, four. I may have accidentally broke one while um, doing some of my uh, daily grind, and as a result, um, I think Paimon said something like, oh, isn't this, like, the whatever of Watatsumi? It, it wasn't, like, super detailed. So, let's go down here. I think I was just testing Mona's power level, that's even why I'm here. But yeah, I had to finish the Tanuki quest as well. Um, so I still had to record even when I was sick. So it's like, oh, it's Friday. This is going to be the only day that I get for finishing this. So I had to do it. Oh, it was not good. So the second half of the uh, Tanuki quest is just me being like, oh, <laughs> oh, it hurts. Everything hurts. I will try. I can't even do Paimon's voice. I feel so bad. So yeah, we're just gonna chill and stream. Summoning Wave Rider. Don't even know if I need to, but here we are. With rain this, heavy, not only are the stars this must be the eye that Tsukiko was talking about. Hazy. See, she said something along these effects. Read the stone tablet at the eye, okay. They say that o Omikami's envoy had three eyes, one for the soul, one a mirror, and last, the truth. From the depths that arose from the south or the north, and all about the western mound. The three eyes shone mercilessly to ward off the dragon's air. Paimon knows all these words, but none of them mean anything when strung together. It doesn't look like there's any clues around here either, so why don't we try using Elemental Sight? Hello? Here, it's a ball. I don't remember doing this for the other one, so maybe I wasn't done. Oh. Do I have to, like, pick it up or something? Break the seal in the shrine. I don't know what it wants. Oh no! The elemental energy from the broken seal has attracted slimes! Okay, I think I did something then. Slime go burr! Del 
Mona also has a uh, bait here. So they attack that instead of her. So it's nice to have that back. Bird egg. Break the seal. Is there anything else? Maybe I can go back. Is it? South and north? Okay, so we went south. Uh, maybe we need to go north? Ooh. <laughs> there it is. I get it. I'm also going to get it when these wake up. You boys play with this. That's not where I intended to put that, but oh well. Oh, I don't have any... Okay, I think that one's dead actually. Let me scry. Dodge this. Oh no, get back here. He dodged it. Oh, I thought it was. Between the uh Shadows of Fate. Scry as well as Kai's uh super. And as well as Noel, we can get a shatter team going, but I have to get the timing down for it. Can I hear something? Oh, I bet it's a thing. Do I need to like hit it or what? What do you want from me, ball? I don't quite understand the ball here, guys. Break the seal over the shrine. I don't know how. Do I need electric? I didn't need electric before. Uh, where the heck is there? She is. In the name of the princess. No. She's aiming at it as if it's there. But I don't know what it wants from me, necessarily. Is it just really picky? I don't understand. Oh, I'm gonna have to look this up. Read the stone tablet. Need elemental sight to find the seals. Note that only an animal character can break these. I didn't even use Jean before. What happened? Where'd she go? Let the wind lead. I wasn't even using Jean before, but okay. Apparently, this is how we do. We've broken one seal! <sighs> I don't see it anymore. It was pointing this way and then it disappeared. There it is. It's going... Inside? Maybe it's like down here. <laughs> Elemental sight, hello. <laughs> oh, and I put my sound phone back up. I can't guarantee it'll stick. Last time it 
during the summer it got so hot that uh, it literally melted the adhesive <laughs> so I couldn't stay anymore. Also it's foam. So if this doesn't work and it starts to peel off again, I'm gonna adhesive spray it to some like um, cardboard, some poster board, and then uh, where is it? Hang that up on the wall instead of just foam directly. But in order to do that, I need to be able to spray outside, and I don't want to do it in the winter. Where the frick is this thing? Oh my god. Where do these specters come from? Were they attracted by elemental power? All the seals have been removed. Let's see if anything's been changed. Little busy, Pemon. Shadows of fate. They're all all the way out there. I can't freeze. I can't reach them. Let me scry. Leave it all to me. I can't reach their little googly booglies. There we go. Do you drop anything? Because I really need your materials for Aloy right now. Obtain the spirit pearl. We found a pearl! It's a spirit- is this the pearl that uh, Suyoko talked about? Okay, let's take a look at that thing. Ancient vibrant pearl within which lies the secret of the ocean depths. Okay, we only have one of those, so clearly I did not finish wherever I set off before. Thankfully, I know where I did. So if I don't end up finishing it, um, now I'll be able to eventually. What's that? And is that bird I see? Is that just KFC floating in the sea? Hang on. Why swim? When you have magic powers! Why is there just random bird floating in the ocean? Hello? Did somebody land in the wrong spot? Oh, interesting. This is what I was looking at. Don't know what to do with it, though. But there is a thing. I spy with my little eye a collectible. I need these. Oh, this is gonna be one of those pains. Bonk. I'm sorry, are these bones? I found bones. Okay, good. I can't get in here with something other than a fire. Oh, there's a researcher here. Hi. I'm gonna do your thing later, okay? That's probably what this quest marker I pinned was. I didn't realize it was all the way out here. I could see it from the main island. I'm gonna grab that chest. Is the thing I need for the relay up there? No, because it disappeared. It's probably like up on the rocks or something. Hello. Oh. Big hello. 
I don't like being down here by the shore. I don't want to get comboed. Freeze. Don't get frostbite. Come up here, please. His own electric is probably preventing him from getting super comboed by me. Someone needs assistance. combo him. Jeez. Oh wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there. I'm gonna have to do like a treasure hunting thing once I get these islands sorted. I just never wanted to accidentally land on a quest. I should also point out really quick, I never showed off Mona's uh, stats. So here they are for anybody who is um, curious. Yeah, you can see energy reduction from here. There you go. Weapon is the Widsith for crit damage. Because her main thing is actually a big splody uh, bubble. And Artifacts is a Wanderer's Troop and Heart of Death set, for which we have a Flower. Not great. Probably will update later when I get a better one. I just don't have a whole lot of five-star flowers. Uh, attack percent on the Flower. Uh, don't like the flat stats, but I do like the uh, crit damage and crit rate that I have off of it for now. Didn't turn out the best, but I mean, could have been worse. Could have been way worse. Um, attack percent on the sands, just we get some attack percent in there somewhere. Really good elemental mastery on it. Hence why Mona has just absolutely crazy elemental comboing potential. Uh, hydro bonus on the goblet as well as crit rate and crit damage. Defense, and I keep getting defense for Mona, which isn't my biggest thing, but I guess she does get smacked around a lot with her inability to dodge, so. And crit rate. Maxed out on the uh, circlet, even though all the actual stats on it, aside from one teeny weeny energy recharge, are all crap. So, oof. Gotta work on that. But also her accessories come from um, a shrine that also has double give out, so gives both the Hydra and the Cryo, which means it's a toss-up between which one you'll actually get. Let's teleport. He said eventually I'm gonna get my character's ability to be unlocked to 90, but I'm not in a rush to do so like I was before. I know you get better artifacts and stuff, but I'll do it closer to when I need to. Potentially with future updates. Because I think uh, MiHoYo will eventually unlock those levels in future uh, events, probably closer to Sumeru. Maybe even unlock new ways to level up, I'm not sure. Didn't mean to fall in. Really, come on. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I'm getting beaten up and I'm not allowed to move. Okay, I wanted to get her because I didn't want her thing to reset. Oh, I don't like these. I hate these. Get me out. Oh, so 
There we go. There's that shatter damage. Out of my sight. This body belongs to ice. Okay, that's probably gonna be a fly around and get the particles one, so I'm not gonna focus on that. I can see a shrine over there. Okay, I see one there and I see something up here. Uh One second. This whole first part is literally just gonna be me um, actually picking up the darn things. Okay, this is probably gonna... It went under! Heck! Oh, all my friends are lower world level than me. It's another reason I'm afraid to <laughs> increase it. Huh. It's gonna have to be one I shoot at. Wait. No, it goes this way. This must be the fin that Siyoka was talking about. Okay, they're right next to each other. That's why. Anyway, I'm grabbing this. Even if I can't get all of them, I'm still gonna grab a couple. For the retainers of other lands shall come from abroad, the two greet each other like the scale and fin, like thigh and bone, ever connected, aiding in the great Omikami's rule. Oh, the two greet each other, huh? This means that we'll need a pair of those fish... to pair off those fish statues we saw before, so they face the center of those big discs? Ooh, now Paimon's hungry for fish. These? So they face the center. Okay, it lit up. Is there a particular order I need to do this? That fish over there also moved! These are facing correctly already. I don't think I touched these. Oh, son of a. It is rotating these. But then how do I get it to stop? No, stop turning. Oh, pay whatever? I didn't see what that said. <laughs> pay respects at the statue. Maybe it holds them for a temporary amount of time. The seal's broken. Let's eat some fish. Come back here. Oh, wait. Quest completed. Fin of Watatsumi. It's another spirit pearl. Cool! And Prima Gems! Oh, I see a boat challenge out there, too. I really have not thoroughly explored uh, Watatsumi Island yet. Like I said, because I was afraid of 
bumping into a quest. Not where I wanted that. Distracted by treasure. What? What died in the water? Worth noting too. Um, wrong button. I kind of uh, don't have that many characters to even work on anymore. We've got Yunjin, Ito, Goro. I'm gonna have a double Geo team eventually with Goro and Ito. I don't know where the heck I'm gonna put Yunjin. I don't even know how to. I want to build her yet. Uh, Shinyan. And Kujo Sara, Aloy, and Ningguang. I believe these are the only characters that I've yet to friendship eight so far. So, uh, yeah, we got a potential uh, double Geo team twice in a row now. I'll probably put Ningguang with um, Yunjin and then put Goro with Ito because I know the build I want to do for these two. I don't know where I want to put you, and I kind of just supplement you into places, so I might put Yunjin with um, Ningguang as a booster. Not sure. But, uh, yeah. You are a, a battery for other Electro characters. I don't actually have a great place for you at the moment. I may need to pull uh, different characters in order to combo some of these, but aside from, uh, oh, and Kuching. But even then, some of these characters have already been worked on, and I'm getting pretty close to being done, so maybe I will do, um... A Kuching and Kujo Sara team mixed with Garo and Ito? Uh, next, I don't know. Xinyan is uh, backup physical damage but to replace Noelle, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how I want to go about doing this. Obviously, these aren't perma teams, they're just my stream teams. Can I make it? I wanted to see what this is. Oh, I know what this is. This is from the mage that died down here. Oh, I thought it was more exciting than that. Darn. Anyway. What I'm getting at is I don't have too many characters uh, What's the hurry? left that What's really this? need uh, worked on. You were going to pull that crap with me? I don't think so. I think he probably turned into something. I don't know what it was. I didn't see him do it. Oh. One of these, maybe? I am not used to... Behold, the seeing the lack of battle pass. Okay, these probably have an order to them. Hey. 
or not? Maybe it's just timed. What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? <laughs> uh oh. By royal. Dodge this. Shadows of fate. Oh dear. That was close. Didn't quite get to it in time. Suspicious. Restore the fang. And there you go. Dark on it. Don't go where I can't see you, Zeely. Come back. Uh. There it is. Don't call it. Hmm. Hmm. To provoke battle, to defend, and to end them quickly, and thus to undo oneself the spoils. Undo oneself the spoils. I can't read. Tis the way of Watatsumi, marked in tooth and claw. Uh, there's been anything legible here. Paimon guesses we'll need to go fight and protect something so we can get the spirit pearls or something. Check the leyline monolith. Oh, goody. <sighs> Be careful! Oh no! Hilly Charles incoming! <laughs> into destiny. Don't play with this instead. This moment will be frozen in time. Has a good night, Shun. I have to do it for a solid minute. Steady as stone. What's the hurry? Free. Let me scry. Decided by destiny. Cool it. As a dutiful maid would. Challenge complete. And that's the third. We're getting close. Okay, Seely. Oh, I knew your stupid dog on it. <laughs> Hello. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me. Up. Didn't go to plan. What the? <laughs> Do it again. There we go. That's better. Eh, I probably should just take care of this while I'm down here. I heard her say got you and had only registered afterwards what was coming up under my feet. Yeah, for the life of me, I really can't get Jean to do decent damage. She can heal my entire party in one shot, similar to Barbara, but... For her attack power, no matter what I put on her, she's basically animal Barbara. Okay, what's next? Uh, Tail.
You! Oh no, I didn't see where it went. Guess I don't have to. Naku Weed Whacker. Part 2. Puzzles. Okay. This is here. If I can just... Darn it, I thought I could be an intermediary. Come on. Come on. Darn it. Silly? I get it. The Sealy doesn't stay. This might. If I stick it right about here. I might have to be the, uh... Electrocuted party, though. <laughs> okay, this is going off here. I need it to go off. That is not movable. Huh. I could probably move this closer to, like, here. Yeah. Um. And then potentially move this just a little further. Just a smooge. Just one step at a time. Come on. You were so good. I don't quite understand what... I feel like I'm missing one. I'll do this later. The other one is all the way on the other end. Yep, that's the one I technically triggered before. It's the tail. this over here. I haven't done this. Leave it all to me. Dodge this. Let me scry. Okay. I need Beto. Because for whatever reason, Oz doesn't count as being electrified. I don't entirely understand how to do these puzzles yet. Come with me. Yes, ma'am. No, I need you further over. Probably timed. Okay. One. I don't like that I can't move under here. Okay, close enough. Eyes on me. Oh, does this not count enough? We're not good enough? Why did you revert back? There we go. Where have you been hiding? If this first part ends up being entirely the overworld, I don't care. I figured it's gonna be a bit of a long journey. Also that, I don't know what even the heck it's about that. <laughs> Shadows of fate. I 
There's the damn bubble. I'm <laughs> like, where the heck is my damage? Delayed damage. I'm like, my bubble did not do 1,000 damage. <laughs> the 19,000 goes across. It's like, there we go. This is what I was over here fighting. This is what originally triggered it. Really? Shadows of fate. I've been hunting these things for Aloy. But there's not a whole lot of them around. Without uh, exploring further into Watatsumi. So, I basically kind of got soft locked out of uh, working on Aloy for a while. Because I can only do so many of these little goobers a day in areas that I could reach without knowingly setting off. Um, other things. Freeze. Get back here. Time to clean up. There we go. Let's hit all of them. If we can. Alright, this one's immune. Durr. Good job, idiot. They're just flying slimes. cast her but she's water she can't hurt this one <sighs> okay I need to go for the other one this ain't working there we go I can hurt you once you're out of the way I'll focus on the other one there we go that's better wait I thought so This is embarrassing. Come back! Cool it. There! Oh my god. I had to chase his little goober. His little goober self. All over the dang map. I need these. I need every single one of these. Oh my god. It's the one material I don't freaking have. Hello, Kainza. Goodbye, Kainza. What we got? This holy hall contains a divine blessing. Tread lightly and walk slowly, following the lights. Tread lightly and walk slowly, following the lights. Rush not, rush never. Make no hue or cry, and approach with piety in one heart for one great Onimaki's grace. So this means we need to take it easy and respectfully? Are they going to measure our respect, though? Break the tail seal. This one's confusing. Light the lantern somehow. Hmm. Did I just walk? Quest area reached. Technically, I guess. We 
Take the tail seal. First step is to find the thing. And as it turns out, it's one it's on one of the smaller islands to the southeast of the mainland. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Quest from Watatsumi. You'll find a spot where you can summon an electroganum. Uh Activating the pillars leading up to the shrine. Basically need to touch them all before it disappears again. Son of a- Oh no, don't get stuck. Okay, that didn't fail. Uh... Oh no, it looks like we can't take too long. Yeah, it said walk, and clearly it lied. Four pillars to the right and to the left. I thought it deadass wanted us to go slow. Highest people on Watatsumi Island. They're following us around everywhere. Okay. Water bro needs to go first. For spirit pro obtain, let's go find see Yoko. Noise. Who is totally on the other end of the island, isn't she? And now the quest isn't activated. Heart of Watatsumi. Yeah. E no. Kenshin be giving me mixed signals. I think she moved. Welcome back. Is there something I can do for you? So about your commission. We got the four spirit pearls. Is that so? I knew I could count on you. Thank you very much. Then we are only one step away from unlocking the final seal of the heart. Excuse me. Sorry, I have to ask you both to come along with me. I hope you don't mind. Since we're already here, a little more is no biggie, right? All right. There's no time to lose. Let's head off. Time to open the gate. Which is way the heck over here. a lot of these respawn artifacts which I'm fine with I'll be I don't farm Inazuma as much as I do leeway for artifacts it's because I don't have it marked and this one I believe is gonna be underwater or in a cave or something because it looked like there was a sealed cave uh, near here which is probably where she is Yeah, right here. This is the place. Take out the spirit pearls you collected before. It's finally time to use them. I'm assuming here. A strange phosphorescent, phosphorescent, I can speak, seal upon which the symbol of a fish has been graven. constellation wasn't somebody's vision what one time was it 
If one's in here, that means you couldn't finish this until this quest got released. Wow, this must be the heart. Yes, our great Omiyaki once stayed here, but now there's nothing but the echoing sound of water. It's enough to make one grieve. Oh. That must be their original god, since it said that the Raiden Shogun uh, slayed their original god. It makes the same sounds as the one on uh, Dragon's Spine. These fish statues are so familiar. Seems you've encountered them before. So you've broken the seals on one before, I guess, then I don't have to go into too much detail. We need all three statues to face the center and connect to one another. I know it's rotating other ones. I bet. Yep, it is. So that one got locked. Watch it, something's coming out! I must leave no stone oh. unturned. Nobody told me about this part! Someone needs Nobody told me about any of the parts, actually. Wait, what am I doing? Idiot! Well, it'll stay focused on that, not that it'll help me. Please switch. Anywho, uh, pay respects, lock and load. Statue isn't responding. Is something stuck? It's got a thing on it. What's stuck? Well, this one reset. No stone unturned. Freeze. What's the hurry? Could you not? <laughs> Maybe it needs to hold for this one. Go, go, go. There. Woo! Freeze. 
<laughs> oh dang it, I thought that was gonna hit me. Shrine Maiden just watching us from up top like, what the heck is going on down there? Okay, that gave me Crystal Chronicles vibes. <laughs> Miss Yuka seems to be thinking about something, so perhaps now is not the time to disturb her. Hmm? What's this? Does Siyoka recognize it? A strange treasure with an off awkward name. Key of Moon Bathed Deep. It is said to have been forged from the blood of Watatsumi Okami. Omi. Kami. Hmm. Mr. Yoko? Oh, sorry. I was quite lost in thought just then. Thanks for your help. Nah, we have the Key of Moon Bathed Deep in hand. The Key of Moon Shaved what now? And what is that anyway? <laughs> Just call it the Key of Deep. We're not going to insist that outsiders use all the proper names for every last thing. This is something we'll need to open the entrance to Endokomia. Enkanomia! Oh my goodness. Atlantis. It was forged from the very spilled blood of our Omikami. Or at least, that's what the legend says. Oh. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> it isn't that mysterious at all. In fact, it's just the opposite. Well... Now we just need to report to the Divine Priestess, await for her approval, and then wait for the spirit vein, vein flow to be corrected. And then we can head down to Enkonomia. Wait, then what do we do all this for? Well, it's not as if you gained nothing during this journey, right? I mean, you've secured the last friendship of the Sangokomiya Shrine. Watatsumi Island will welcome you back any time. How about something a bit more concrete than that? The records do say that the spirit pearls will answer the summons of someone pure, and that the key will only come together for the one whose heart is as clear as the waters themselves. I don't generally believe what those texts say, but I do believe that you can turn Watsumi Island's situations around. Well then, when the time comes to go down to Endokomia, meet again then, huh? You'll just draw another fortune slip? Well then, see you. Oh. I'm the wonders how Siyoka's preparations are going. Let's go look at her for Sangokamiya Shrine. So I'm assuming it's technically a second quest to um, open that up. I also need these pearls for Goro. Isn't there a thing in here? I could have sworn there was going to be... Ah ha ha. You. I must become one with the bark. <sighs> I knew it. We wouldn't be able to come in here until, uh, this quest opened up. 
Let's see, we've been going for an hour. So, based on uh, part splitting, we technically have a new quest uh, with her. But because um, that quest will more than likely send us down at Endicomia, I'm wondering if I might do some of these really quickly. And that way I don't have to worry about tripping on them. Hopefully they're not too long. I also never want something to get like patched out and then I miss it. Also, this could provide context to what's down there. Ah, hello. Sorry, I got a little distracted. You guys are... Hello. <laughs> Unfamiliar faces. Sorry, I'm not very good at to talking to strangers. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just... I'm sorry. Call me Bren. Paimon's name is Paimon. Nice to meet you. I'm Kumi. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I just rarely chat with people. May I ask, is there anything I can help you with about this carcass? You were just wondering what animal carcass this is. Oh. Her name is Kuntira. She's sort of my childhood friend. Huh? Good friend. This might sound silly. You might even think it's just my wishful thinking. This skeleton is what my childhood friend left behind. Oh. Oh. Your friend was able to defeat such huge sea creatures. That's amazing. That's not what she meant. Ahem. I mean, these are the bones of my childhood friend. She is a sea creature. Oh. On Narukami Island, my father's hometown, people call these creatures Umi Bozo. It is also said that they often attack cargo ships on long voyages and will rob fishermen of their catch, so they are hunted down and killed by humans. But over here... In my mother's hometown, the locals would give each individual creature a unique name. And she, my best friend, may have been the last of her kind. I'm sorry. Well, the people of Watatsumi never gave her species a common name. Because they think that, just like us, each of them is a lonely individual. Lonely, docile, indifferent to curiosity and hostility outside of their own world. Alone, roaming in the currents. Alone, suffocating in the shallows. How pitiful. Paimon, I'm gonna throw you into the sea. Oh, don't think of it that way. Intentionally or not, when you say words like, how pitiful, you are alienating yourself from the other person and their experiences. It dismisses and trivial trivializes their pain. Thank you. Kumi gets it. It's really condescending. Only by empath em ah, crap. Only by empathizing with the other party's loneliness and pain, letting go of fear and defense, can we truly achieve understanding. Perhaps that's why we happened to become friends back then. Rather than alleviating each other's loneliness, we were enjoying the loneliness together, a solitude we both shared. It's just that I have a long been away for a long time since I grew up. I finally had the opportunity to come back, only to realize that it's too late. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. Don't let me affect your mood. Ah, uh, excuse me. Can you... Um, never mind. It's nothing. It's okay. Just let us know. Do you need our help? Yes. Sorry to bother the both of you. I came from Narukami Island wanting to visit her and stay here for a while. But as you can see, my best friend has passed away. The way home is also blocked by the war. Maybe I'll be stranded even longer. I wanted to at least offer something to my friend. She loves Thunder Sakura flowers. But for safety reasons, I can no longer go back to the place where the Thunder Sakura grows. If I could ask you guys for help, I'd be ever so grateful. We'll do our best. Thank you very much. Be careful when passing through the non-safe areas. I will pray for you here. Miss Kumi, you're too polite. Alright. Three Sakura blooms. I didn't expect you guys to be back so soon. Do you need anything? I brought what you asked for. Thank you so much. I knew I could count on you guys. Um, these are enough to make a wreath of flowers. Thank you once again. By the way, I have one more thing I want to ask of you. I don't know if you guys mind. Since we already helped you out, feel free to tell us, Miss Kumi. 
Do you need help? It's like this. I heard from the elders of Boro Village that there is a hilly trail activity again on the beach to the west. It so happens that a researcher from Sumeru passed by here the other day and is heading there. I think her name is Anissa, and she hasn't returned yet. I'm quite worried about her. This researcher, is she your friend? Are friends the only ones worth worrying about? I'm sorry. I mean, I really don't know her well. I'm just worried. I understand. Sorry to trouble you again. If it weren't for the fact that I can't handle myself in fights. It's okay. You don't have to blame yourself. It's just to go help. Head to the hilly trail camp in the west. This way. Yeah, I wonder what kind of creature she was. A whale, maybe? Judging by the skeleton? Serpent? It's stuck in the thing? Save my thesis! The hilly chill's destroyed! I'm done for! Ah, uh, that's a med school mood. Look, the researcher Kumi talked about is right over there. Let me scry. Thank you. If it weren't for your help, I'm afraid I'd be dead. No need to thank us. You're Anissa, right? Miss Kumi asked us to come. Kumi? Oh, it's that local lass who's a bit gloomy but very nice, right? What a strange and flippant way of describing her. Lass is strange and flippant? <laughs> Actually, I forgot her name. I really shouldn't have. I think I'll have to thank her properly later on. Oh yes, her name is Kumi, right? That's right, you should, shouldn't be a researcher with a memory like that. Shut up, Paimon. Yes, I remember this time. Kumi. That's a cute name. Kumi. Ahem. Ah, sorry, I didn't introduce myself, although you might already know. I'm Anissa. Anissa Pir... Uh, frick. Pirbiruni. Trainee Daster at Sumeru Academy's Oceano... Oceanographic Society. Ow. <laughs> I tried to pick up my coffee and I smacked my desk. As for my surname, Pure Biruni is because of my academic lineage dates back five centuries to the great scholar, the sage Biruni. I can't wait to get a whole bunch of like Arabic and Hebrew names in the Subaru update and despite, despite having a Yiddish name myself, totally just screwing it all up. <laughs> Uh, every time I mention this, a pride that cannot be expressed in words wells up within me and been... Did I miss a text bubble on accident? Man, she's like a rich girl bragging about her dad's money. Uh, Kumi's very worried about you. Oh. What are you laughing about? Nothing. I'm just a little embarrassed about making people worry about me. I'm getting vibes off of you two. I'm surprised that you can be embarrassed at all. However, there's still things I've yet to do. The research I have on hand has not yet borne fruit, and I must hurry. You know the statue of Watatsumi here are the object of my research. The traditional beliefs of the people of Watatsumi are very fascinating. Eh? In antiquity, the priests, uh, I mean the shrine maidens of Watatsumi, would place permanently given offerings under memorials. After that, they would protect those offerings with sophisticated mechanical puzzles or simple elemental techniques. What? Paimon. This was originally a manner of protecting the stories and objects that were offered, storing the objects that were offered. But people gradually discovered the joys of solving puzzles for their own sake, and even considered this a way of communicating with the now deceased through one's intellect. As such, the solving of puzzles became melded together with religious rituals resulting in most unique tradition. As such, 
Apart from the usual offerings, solving puzzles left by those who came before and seeking the desires of the heart also became rituals of worship or divination. And of course, the better part of this is my personal guesswork. If we want to be sure, we'll need to conduct a great deal of folklore studies. So these desires of the heart are actually... It's as you guessed. I'm referring to the riches offered to the statues of Watatsumi, the gifts of forebears to their descendants. Riches! By which I mean treasure, of course. Treasure. Treasure! Your little companion seems to have a strong interest in my topic of study. How about it, then? Interested in lending me a hand? What about happened to my Paimon? Come on! There's treasure! Let's just help out, shall we? Ah, uh, as for me, I'm not all that interested in treasure. I need my research results. It'll be great if you're willing to help. The treasure's all yours. Consider it your payment for helping me out. Woohoo! Woohoo! Please stop ignoring me. I'll consider it. I don't worry. Let's start right here. Solve the puzzle of the Watatsumi statue? Oh. I see. It's one of these. Looks like we didn't follow the right steps. Let me write this down. Do you think we'll find some clues in the big shed over there? Can I even get in? No. Oh, there's another one. Water. Water. Electric. I need a, a Sakura doohickey. Okay, it does go back down afterwards. It. I think it's because maybe the thing is buried. But there needs to be... Ha ha. You run the fastest. Boosh. Let me just... Uh... She said clues in the hut. I don't see anything in here. statue. I didn't- Doggone it! There it is. You hid it from me. Let's try that again. Activated it. Let's proceed. Oh. But then how the heck do I... Oh. I'm assuming that's the finish. So. Up. Uh, Look, we did it. The more the merrier. The first round's on me. Well then, congratulations are in order. These are offerings, you know. Can we really take them? That's fine. Like I said, it's a symbol of the heart's desire. The forebears of this land left it to those came after as a symbol of faith and a token of trust. In fact, you could consider it a concrete way of passing memories on. So be at ease and just take it. It's yours by right. The people of Watatsumi understood this very early on. The fruits of wisdom are to be given to those who respect it. Just like you and me. Does Paimon count too? Of course. Thanks for your hard work. You're most welcome. Uh, no need to be so formal. Still, this thesis I'm working on is such a headache. Uh, don't you have a breath have a breakthrough already? Well, yes, but I've spent far too much time on just one subject. To formally become... 
a duster is to, as opposed to remaining a trainee, you need to have two different phases. Oh my god, two different theses pass through the review stage. I can ask for an extension, of course, but I do still need to find a second topic. It's like med school all over again. My second field of study is active, actually marine biology, but due to the recent instability in Inazuma, I've had to call that to a halt and to research on that front. Hmm, marine biology, you say. Like, what is it? Oh, right, Miss Kumi's good friend. Like, what is it? I don't think she and I have gotten that far yet. <laughs> Not what I meant. <laughs> I wasn't talking about your feelings, I was talking about a specimen. I was talking about a sea creature. Oh, oh right, I remember now. What does this person fill their brain with Paimon wonders? Rainbows, apparently. I actually had a passing glance at that creature earlier. If I'm not mistaken, the skeleton is that of Umi Bozo, or at least that's what people of Narukami Island call it. Hang on, I'm trying to put my glass down. There we go. Since I'm done with it, I don't want it on my desk. There are huge, intelligent, and savage sea monsters, and were once considered the arch nemesis of all sailors. They were overly clever, clever and proud, just like us humans. I suppose that's why they came into conflict with us and became savage beasts. The sea creatures have all but been wiped out in the most ocean regions, but it seems that this isn't the case here. It seems they've grown even closer to humanity. This is a very unusual phenomenon indeed. Very interesting. Thanks a lot. I knew I was right to call on you for help. Well, time's a wasting here. Let's hope at, head back and look for Miss Kumi. Yeah, let's go. I should probably actually swap out Beto with Kaching. Well, Beto is better at solving certain puzzles. She's the only one who can really solve some of them, which is weird. That I know of, anyway. Hello there. Thanks for bringing Anissa back safe and sound. You're welcome. Hello there, little, uh, Miss Kumi. Sorry for making you worry. I'm just glad to see that you're all right. I just finished my garland, too. Sorry for taking up your time. Let me give you this garland. Uh, please go ahead. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of flowers. I only gave her like a few. I hope that my feelings, though late, will get through to her. I'm alone all again. What was her name? Why are you suddenly asking that? Shush. I hear that the people of Watatsumi gave each individual a unique name. If you don't mind me asking, what was your friend's name? Kuntira. That's a lovely name. Thank you. The elders of the island say that Kuntira means whale in the ancient language. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was a whale. I'm right. But I chose this name because I like it. Well, it also fits with Kumi, doesn't it? It's a lovely name. What's she doing? We best avoid disturbing the Paimon. Um, thank you. Uh, apologies, I spoke a little out of turn. That's okay. She was the last remnant of her kind. She was born alone, and she died alone. Born in the sea, dying on land where she didn't belong, suffocating in the air. Recently, I've been thinking, sooner or later, this might be my destiny as well. Eh? It's not like that. There's no need to persuade me. I understand what you're thinking. But after all, you and I are not the same. I wasn't born here, nor do I belong to my father's hometown. No, I, I wasn't talking about the pelvic bones. <laughs> oh, I was talking about the pelvic bones. Huh? Yes, the pelvic bones. Pelvic bones. Pelvic bones? What are you talking about? Uh, it's like this. Have you guys noticed that unlike a whale, she's 
still has well-developed pelvic bones. You mean similar to like a Loch Ness? I forget the actual name for the dinosaur. Not at all. How did you notice? Since I first arrived here, I've been paying attention to its pelvic structure and the traces it left behind. I suppose you can call it an academic's instinct? For example, when we give birth, we experience strong expansions and contractions and as such, a stable support structure that protects our internal organs and soft tissues is indispensable. Our pelvis is the structure that performs this function, and for Kuntira, her pelvis is the same. Meaning she's a mammal? Well... A pelvis that has undergone childbirth tends to show a certain Oh! Show a certain degree of deformation and wear due to the expansion and contraction. The body shape of primitive marine creatures tends to be teardrop-shaped, so their pelvises are also narrower. In other words, the mark of pelvic deformation are more obvious and easier to observe. Is that so? Huh. Ah, sorry. I've just been talking about common knowledge. I suppose I've been boring you all to death. Oh no, please continue. You have a very beautiful tone of voice, at least. Has anyone ever told you that? Ah, uh, thank you. I've never noticed. Uh, thanks. Uh, back to the topic at hand. As such, I have grounds to fully refute your reasoning. Based on the deformations of the pelvic bone, she must have undergone many births. It seems she had found her home in the sea, and she had more than one offspring. Wow! Hmm. In other words, she was found her own happiness. But if that's the case, then why would she stay stranded here? She wouldn't have gotten stuck. That's your second mistake, Miss Kumi. Stranded sea mammals often show signs of distortion and strain on certain parts of their vertebrae. If you must know why, it's because suffocating is very painful. But based on my preliminary observations, Kudrina's spine is straight, almost as if she did not experience any painful struggle. Based on a rough observation of her bone age, I would estimate that she passed away safely before she came to shore. As for why she came to this familiar place in her final hours, maybe this was her way of telling her good friend that she had lived a happy and fulfilling life. Thank you. So you've got to live well too. Yes, I will. You know, I would always feel torn as to whether I should return to my home on Narukami Island or to stay here in Boro Village. Before, I was also torn whether to head back to the academia or stay in this country. Due to the war, confusion, and pressure from the, sh pressure from the shogunate, it's all too much, and many people have considered giving up. But one must make a choice. To continue or to give up. Choosing to continue may still wind up being fruitless, but choosing to give up. I won't give up. When it's war or government, they're just another problem. That's another matter entirely. You're right. Think about it. Hundreds of years later, when people talk about this war, they can only lament the tragedy it caused and how meaningless it all was. But when they talk about the history of Watatumi Island, about your friends, and you and me, they will remember. That this island had a daredevil that stumbled out and somehow unlocked some of the truths behind our history? Yes, and that there also lived a girl who befriended a giant sea creature, and thus decided where her home should be. When she was young, when she first met me, I had similar feelings. The feeling that my life was only just beginning. Then let your life begin once again, this time without any fear of loss. Uh, Paimon's getting mad. We were running all those errands for them, and then here they are chanting away. Relax, Paimon. Uh, having said that, there's one thing that I must ask you, Miss Kumi. You're so firm all of a sudden. She's got some other agenda, huh? I might have to stay on Watatsumi Island to study marine life in the long term, so in the meantime, could I, uh... Do you mean that you want to study Kutria's children? No, I want to try making friends with her children. And if you don't mind, Miss Kumi, well, if it's at your convenience, of course, I wouldn't want to... I live in Boro Village. I'm sure I could give you a room, as long as you're alright with it. I'd love to meet her children as well. Maybe that's what she wanted me to see. The family she cared about. Thank you. Ah, uh, there's no need to learn how to speak as we do. I think you speak beautifully as is. <laughs> well then, thanks a lot. But, I mean, Miss Kumi. Uh, feels like we've been left out in the cold. <laughs> it's just how it is, Paimon. Thank you so much for your help as well. Bren, Paimon, I will not forget this. Me too. My future lectures always have seats open for you. What? No, Paimon's not here to study. A mermaid's tale. Achievement. Oh. 
She disappeared. Oh, it's you. Welcome. Uh, how have you been recently? Thanks to your concern, I've been doing quite well. Originally, I only intended to say goodbye to Kuntira and make peace with some parts of my life. But now I feel as if this place is more likely more home than Narukami Island, and I can experience new joys here that are more than just memories. So I feel that continuing to live here isn't bad either. I'm glad that we met. I feel the same way. Thank you for your help previously. Oh, by the way, Anissa has been trying really hard to get used to life here. Lately, she's been learning how to make our local cuisine from me. It's just that she's, uh... I made some changes to it based on flavor flavors from Sumeru. I hope you don't mind. Ooh. Suspicious omelet rice. Should I take that personally? <laughs> Should I take the suspicious omelet rice personally? <laughs> the Sumeru lady doesn't know how to cook Japanese food. Oh, do I not know? It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. Do I not know how to make? Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. So I've got something on my glasses. Something else really quick. About Anissa. Uh, she still as reckless as ever. She doesn't seem to act like she is in a different nation at all. She just keeps going to strange and dangerous places every day. And when she gets into her studies, that's the whole day she'll be spending on research and I can't make heads or tails out of it. She honestly worries me a bit. Honestly, she sounds like me. But she's also very considerate, and her voice is quite lovely. I think I can bear with it, I guess. Uh, don't misunderstand. She's a good person, so it's not like as if I dislike her or something. Alright, you two have fun. Get married. I'm gonna... Uh... That's the main one. Okay. I'm gonna uh, take this check mark off. Because it's done. Delete pin. And I'll probably do uh, this one. Is there any more that's over here? I mean, technically there's these, but they're not related to Watatsumi. So I'm going to see if I can do this other quest up here. And then we'll go down. I'll make this one video, even if it goes over two hours. And then uh, then we can head down to Endokomia and make it just a little bit more fluent, I guess. Thing is, with these side quests, I don't know how long or short they'll be, so it's always a little interesting. Okay. Oh, there's something. Hang on. Enigmatic page. There must be a Mora weasel somewhere. Anywho. I could have sworn there was another thing over here. Another quest. But now I'm not seeing it. Uh oh. There's a... Oh right, that's that one. And I totally fell out of the sky because... Wait. That's the one that I thought was underwater, but now I don't. Ugh. I could have sworn there was another quest around here. I marked it because there was two, like, right next to each other. I could have sworn, like, maybe there was something here. Maybe it relates to these? Another electro -seely. Looks like the Watatsumi statue can control when it appears! Cool. <gasps> Dang it. <gasps> Come on. But down er Okay. Uh 
Okay. Come on, hurry up. Oh, got it. The Electra's Ailey seems satisfied. How weird. Maybe this was it? I don't know. Ugh. Maybe I marked this? I don't think so. if the Electricelia are here to protect or watch this place. What are you gonna do with some more fortune? This is a shrine of some sort, so... I don't know, I'm not seeing the quest I marked out. Maybe I just accidentally marked the same one twice? Maybe it was for the shrine? Maybe I like marked one or something and ended up triggering something else? Cause nothing be showing up here. Down here maybe? Again with this. I don't know where this is. It's not like in the tree, is it? It's... It says I'm standing on it, but I don't. Oh. Okay. Scry the sky. All right then. Maybe I just marked it off twice. In which case, um, I'm gonna teleport back, talk to the statue, see what all it needs for me. I don't know what the heck. This is about the Liwa Pool. That's gonna be a one run dungeon. Eventually. How far along am I? I have 15 and I need 28. Oof. But I do get my uh, next thing. Alright. So this is where I'm going to split parts uh, for the YouTube video. And uh, separate it so it's a little bit easier to edit in the future. So if you want to see more Genshin Impact content, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you in future parts. Bye-bye!